What's up everybody, Acris here, and as of this recording, Smash had their final character revealed and is being released in a couple days, or as of this upload, is being released today. And you might be wondering, who is it? Well, hey guys, so yeah, you're gonna hear my voice through this, like part this reveal a little bit, because I want to give you guys how what I was thinking during the reveal, and I was like, damn, that's how it all started. There's Inkling. What the fuck? Yeah, I was thinking like, what the fuck is going on? What, are they all turning into dolls? I was like, what? what is going on? Then right here I was like, Dark Souls? This can't be Dark Souls. I guess they're doing Dark Souls. <laughs> I, I guess, I guess we're getting Dark Souls. Really? And that's when I knew this moment, dude. Oh. I remember saying, damn, he fucking did it. Sakurai fucking the mad lad. I remember. This motherfucker. This motherfucking guy, dude. Let's go. It is our fucking boy, Sora from fucking Kingdom Hearts. His moves, his his move sets are so like cool. They're they're like really like awesome. The, the attention to detail that they put in his move sets are amazing. The love and, and attention that they gave our boy is mind blowing. His skin is from Kingdom Hearts 1 and his face stays structurally the same for his, all of his costumes, which is fine. I understand the limitations and like having to update his face for every one of his costumes would be kind of difficult. It's understandable. His taunts are, are funny. I like that they include the magic in them. Of course they do nothing, but it's... I mean, you could just pull off a fucking cure here and there. Uh, his voice acting, I think they, they ripped some of the voice acting from a Dream Drop Distance or maybe some of the old assets from the older games. Because I, th I think it's straight up just Haley Joel Osment. Otherwise, they got a very like good sound alike. Uh, the stage that comes with Sora, I wish it was more like Destiny Islands or I don't know, something more what I would assume. But ha they put Hollow Bastion and it looks amazing. It it's literally from Kingdom Hearts 1. Like all the the moving platforms, the the buttons you have to press, the the move the shifting flooring, it's it's beautiful. And then when somebody drops below like halfway uh or like has limited stocks of it goes into dive into dive into the heart. And from there, it just goes randomly through like all like Kingdom Hearts characters and it's it's amazing. Oh, it's so amazing. It's it's a cool way to end Super Smash Brothers and all the DLC fighters. Now, when Sora was announced on October fifth, two thousand twenty-one, I sadly wasn't able to like live react to it, like as many others. Um, though I could try to uh, do my own reaction later, just like a mimic to see how I reacted. I was I had my second dose of um, you know, of the the worldwide pandemic uh, vaccine shots that had been happening. So I was really out of it, um, but it was it was awesome. I know some, uh, if I remember correctly, it was Rage Knowledge 
outraged knowledge. That person made an amazing video that has so many content creators or YouTubers or whatever you want to label them giving their reaction to Sora. And it's just amazing. It's, it's beautiful. It made me like tear up. It made me continue to watch it. It was just, it was just awesome. It honestly was amazing to see Sora. Like he's finally in Smash. Like, ah. Uh, it, it also during the like uh, announcement for Sora, we finally got to like know who won the Smash ballot. All all these years later, it was Sora. He was the most person that wa they wanted to bring to Smash. And you know what? I I don't. <laughs> I don't see why not. It, he's, it's it was well worth the wait to find out. And honestly, like. Who do you does anybody remember when they added Sora to Project M? Uh, if you don't know what Project M is, that's totally fine. There's an amazing video series out there by Link uh, Light Two, and I'll leave his channel in the description below. Or if I can freaking find out how it works uh, to leave people's cards on the top right corner, I'll leave it up there as well. But basically, it was a mod for Super Smash Brothers Brawl that made it more like melee, and it had Sora and Riku and a bunch of other characters in it. I can insert um, some. I don't have gameplay of it, but there's this amazing person who has some gameplay of it. Uh, you can see Sora and, be and uh, Riku being selected with some other characters in there. And then he starts a fight. But if you want to watch the full video, I'll leave that video also in the description below. I have loved Kingdom Hearts ever since it came out originally. And I used to watch my dad play it. And my earliest memories of playing video games with my dad was just watching him play Kingdom Hearts. And now that Sora's in Smash, it's like a fucking dream come true. I can, like... I can't tell you how amazing it's that he's the final reveal for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. I don't know if this is the end for Super Smash Brothers, and if it is, Sakurai, you made every person's dream come true. Yeah, there's some characters that didn't make it into Smash, but there's so many characters. There's if if you don't see or appreciate how much love and care that Mr. Sakurai put into Super Smash Brothers. I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know. Are, are you living under a rock? <laughs> but honestly, thank you. And this was a well worthy send off. I a bunch of people appreciate it. I appreciate it. But yeah, like, ha, huh, it's it's amazing. He's here, you know. So yeah, as I was saying before, Sora is either coming out in a couple days or today. And if it's the 18th of October today, then Hey, I'm going to be streaming on my Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash Stellar Icarus. I'm going to be playing Kingdom Hearts 1 until Sora comes out. Or I'll probably play, be playing through those games or just through a couple of games of some other stuff until Sora comes out in Smash. If you want to come by, say hi. We could, we could talk. <laughs> Honestly, it's, it's a freaking fantastic day. Sora's coming out for Smash, and I just wanted to make this quick video expressing my feelings on Sora coming to Smash and seeing how important it is, because it is so freaking important. Because god damn it, Sakurai, he made the impossible possible, and that's truly amazing. Anyway guys, see you guys in the next video. May your heart be your freaking guiding key. Peace off.